Hi guys, it's James from CMC. Today I'm going to show you my top tips to keep your motorcycle helmet fresh. This is one of the guys who works from his helmet. He wears it every single day. He's ready for a cleave and some maintenance on the helmet. I'd recommend you to get a halo or a towel to keep your helmet on because sometimes you're going to be working with the helmet on its side. You need, do need your cleaning products and some rags. The first thing I'd do is remove the visor and inspect the working parts where the visor sits. With the visor removed, get your cleaning product. I recommend the Wave Helmet cleaning product, suitable for matte helmets and visors. Give it a good clean. And when you're cleaning it, just inspect the helmet for any damage. Moving all the way around to the working parts and check the visor seal. Sometimes you may need to lubricate the visor seal with silicon. Once the helmet is nice and clean, move on to the visor. If it's got a pin lock insert inside, remove the pin lock insert. It's always good practice just to keep make sure there's no grit behind the back of the visor. Again, you can use the same cleaning product again. We also do the muck off um, cleaning product and we also do one way you can carry in your pocket. Make sure there's no grit on the visor because if you rub the visor with the grit on it, you'll scratch the visor. Now, if you haven't got a helmet with a pin lock in, we also do the fog free spray. All you do, you apply it to the inside of the visor, leave it a few seconds and wipe the residue off. And if you're riding in bad conditions, I'd also recommend the Nick White Visor Proof. This works by spraying two sprays on the visor, leave it a few seconds again, wipe the residue off and it'll bead all the water off. So what you want to do, put your pinlock back into the visor. Make sure it's fastened in securely. Check that it's sealed. Get your helmet back on your stand. Put your visor back on. Make sure it's sealed properly. I'd do a quick inspection of the vents, make sure they're running nice and spree. And your chin vent. Once the visor's in, have a look inside the liner. As you can see inside this helmet, Lewis uses his helmet every single day, so it does get grotty. One of the main things helmets get grotty is people put the gloves inside the helmet. I don't recommend that because of any of the grit off the road goes straight onto your gloves and straight into the liner. Now if your helmet does go grotty like this, if you get the muck off foam fresh, get a different cleaning cloth, squirt it onto there. The reason I squirt it onto there, not into the helmet, is because we you squirt it into the helmet, it'll get into all the creases of the liner. And with Lewis, he's got an intercom system in there. I don't want any of the foam fresh getting onto the intercom system. Basically, you push it inside the liner and give it a good clean. This will lift any of the muck what's on the liner inside it and it'll also give the helmet a nice fresh smell. It's the worst thing you can do is put your helmet on and it smells sweaty. After you've done this, make sure you get a different cloth, dry any of the excess residue off, and you're way to go. If you're wearing your helmet every day like Lewis, I would recommend trying to do this every week. It'll keep your helmet fresh for longer and the lifespan of your helmet, you're gonna get more wear out of the helmet. For more top tips, follow our YouTube channel. All these products are available from CMC Motorcycles. Thanks for watching guys.